But I want to bring us now closer to home and the F-35 program. Is the F-35 program a failure? No, it's... Okay, uh, so let's go over it. How much does an F-35 cost? Well, it depends on the variant, but... Uh, 100 million? Safe, safe to say? 100 million a copy? Okay, so we just had the Air Force in here, and I said, what percentage of these F-35s are fully mission capable? And they said 29%. Do you have any basis to disagree with that assessment? I don't have any basis to disagree okay. with Secretary. So at 100 million a copy, 29% being fully mission capable, does that seem low to you? It's a complex airframe, and, and again, um, there are a number of reasons why a platform could be in, uh, not operational at any one given time. But, right, but I mean, but how many? Having said that, it, I, is a, it is probably it is one of the best aircraft in the inventory. The best aircraft in the inventory. Well, Mr. Secretary, uh, there's a GAO report that takes a very different view. Mr. Chairman, I seek unanimous consent to enter the GAO report entitled, F-35 sustainment cost will continue to rise while planned use and availability have decreased. Without objection, so ordered. It reads, cost to sustain the F-35 fleet keep increasing from $1.1 trillion in 2018 to $1.58 trillion in 2023. Yet DOD plans to fly the F-35 less than originally estimated, partly because of reliability issues with the aircraft. The F-35's ability to perform its mission has also trended downward over the last five years. Is there any of that in the GAO report that you disagree with? Uh, I don't, no. Okay, so how many hundred million dollar paperweights do we own? I would not categorize the F-35 as a paperweight. Well, if, we, if it's not mission capable, if it's, what, what, do we just stare at it and admire it? We, we continue to work to make sure that we, uh, we uh, get our aircraft uh, operational and continue to... Uh, and, and I don't know, don't you think at $100 million a clip, more than 29% should be fully operational? And if the fact that we can't get them operational... You know, you know what Secretary Kendall said when he was sitting in that chair? He said the core root of the problem is that we had let Lockheed Martin build this thing, and then we gave Lockheed Martin the full system performance contract. And they keep bilking us, according to the GAO, and we sit around staring at a $100 million airplane that can't fully perform the mission, and you're sitting here telling me it's, a, it's not a failure. Just own up to it, Mr. Secretary. Just say, this airframe has not delivered. It's too costly. It's not, it's not being utilized as we should, and we should never again make the mistake of doing a full system performance contract with the very person who built the aircraft. Could we agree to that? I agree. In the future, okay. we, should take a, we should have a different approach. I'm sure that Secretary Good. Kendall well, also told you the, the things that he was doing to get the approach quite quickly. Yeah. 